Hello everyone, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to integrate iStep with Invector. I have already imported the Invector package in this project and I also have imported the Invector settings. But what I haven't imported is iStep, so we open the package manager, search for iStep, select it and we import iStep into our project. iStep does come with additional Unity project, uh, Unity package files with additional demo content. But we don't need that here. Uh, so we select the vBasic controller next. Uh, we scroll down, and we press add component, and we add the foot IK component. But we are not done yet. And we scroll up and we double click the animator controller that is set up here to open it, and we have to press settings and we have to enable IKPS for iStep to work. So let's go back to the scene. Let's, let's press play and see if everything works. We see that the feeds are being adapted to the ground. So iStep works, but we are not done yet. So what we are going to do is apply some settings to the foot IK script that I found to work pretty well earlier. Uh, they are not going to be perfect, but they will work. So let's see. So we are going to add uh, a special animation for crouching to enable the crouching behavior. So this is called free crouch. Uh, you can check out the animator controller locomotion free locomotion, free crouch. So this state is basically what I'm typing here uh, to apply the specific crouching behavior when we are in this animation state. Uh, we also are going to optimize this state a little bit by typing here 0 0.3 as crouch correction tolerance. So next we are going to add two states uh, as uh, invalidation states, which are first jump over and second step up. You can check the animator controller as well to find those states and when they are enabled. Um, I did this work already, so I'm just going to include them here for now. Next, we want to increase increase the IK max correction a little bit and set it to 0 0.7. And we also want to increase the body position max correction with foot forward with forward foot distance, sorry for that. Let's set this to 0 0.25. And we also want to change the radius a little bit, which is 0 0.2. Let's set this to 0, 0 0.35, which is also the radius of the capsule collider that you see here. So let's press play and see how everything works. So let's see. Can I run up here? Yeah. So I step seems to adapt pretty well. Uh, let's see how the crouching works. It works also pretty good. And there's one thing more I want to show you. Uh, which is a sliding behavior that you can set up here. I think by default it's a rolling uh, animation, but we are going to change this with the sliding animation. I have already included it in the project. Uh, so let's go out of here. Let's double click the animator controller again. Uh, in the base layer, click double click actions, double click roll, select the roll animation and you see there's a roll animation here but I have a running slide animation from Mixamo, uh, which I'm going to use. I added this into the project earlier, so I just replaced the animation. And let's see what I mean. So if I slide, this is the sliding animation, which looks pretty solid when on ground, but if we are on the slopes and I slide, the feet would go inside and this looks bad. And to fix that, 
uh, we are going to add a specific behavior uh, or let's say an add-on a special add-on from iStep so let's add it here uh, it's called add-on adapter surface slope so let's add this and for the settings we have to add here the specific animation uh, that is going to be used uh, it's called roll what we saw earlier the default settings here 10 and 10 can stay the same and for the position height offset we want the offset of 10 centimeters and actually that's it for this setup so let's see how it looks now so the feeds are not intersecting anymore and we get perfect adaption for this sliding behavior pretty cool I guess uh, you can use this for any character controller, it's not unique to Invector uh, and I think it gives a lot to the realism. So this is the add-on from iStep that you can use as well to solve this kind of action or behavior. So that's it for this video, thank you for watching and until next time.